Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking up some waffles. Yes, I know you're thinking, but Sahil, you've already made waffles on the show. Why are you making it again? Well, today's waffles are going to be made using almond flour. Yep, they're going to be delicious and they're going to be very different from the peanut butter ones. And that's not all. I'm going to be filling up these waffles with some meaty treats. First up, one of my aunts has been kind enough to get me a packet of Iberico ham. Like this is that fancy ham, really expensive fancy stuff, you know, that you eat with finesse. And I'm going to put this in one of the waffles with some buffalo mozzarella, some pesto and a tomato chutney. And it's going to be good guys, trust me about that. And the second one, I'm going to stuff it with some, uh, what am I looking for? A dip, a dip made out of roasted bell peppers some lettuce and a pork patty smothered in cheese and it's going to be good guys oh i'm drooling just thinking about it anyway enough jibba 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 let's go and make the, the waffles yes but on a serious note we must make those waffles enough jibba jabba. time to cook so for the waffle mix we're going to use 50 grams of almond flour a pinch of salt half a teaspoon of baking powder and a little bit of stevia just for that sweetness just mix those things together. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of heavy cream. I'm going to also add in one egg. And I'm going to give all of that a good mix. Now I'm going to add 20 grams of grated cheddar cheese into the waffle mix. And the reason I'm doing this is so that the waffles have a slightly crunchy texture if possible because the cheddar cheese will sort of melt and the waffles will be slightly cheesy. I don't know, I feel this is a trick that you can use. Try it and let me know what you think. Anyway, back to making the waffles. And this looks a bit thick, so I'm going to add a tablespoon of heavy cream to make it a bit more fluid. And it still looks like it needs more cream, so another tablespoon is going to be added now. So that makes a total of four tablespoons of heavy cream. And that batter looks just about ready. Now it's time to make the waffles, and once your waffle iron is hot, you're going to open it up and put some butter down there, oh yeah. Make sure you get a good amount of butter and then just pour in that batter. This batter should make you about four waffles. Make sure you don't waste any of the batter at all. Scrape every little last bit of it out of that bowl and put it in. Anyway, just let your waffles cook now for however long they take and yeah, chill out. While the waffles get done, we're gonna make our pork burgers and I'm gonna season my pork mince with some salt some pepper, some dried oregano and some chili flakes and then give it all a good mix. Once that's done I'm going to shape it using my favorite burger mold and my burger patty is ready. It's that easy. Now I'm going to get onto that tomato chutney and since I've got these cherry tomatoes which are a little well not so ripe I'm going to use them and have a nice tangy tomato chutney. So chop them in halves then we're going to get a pan on the gas Going to heat up some olive oil, add in some garlic. Once that garlic starts to get some color on it, I'm going to throw in the tomatoes. And you just want to cook these out for a bit. Oh yeah, and don't forget to season it with some salt and some pepper. Now we're going to pour in some water, cover it with the lid and let it cook on a low flame for about 10 minutes. You want it to become nice and well, like a chutney. Halfway through the cooking process, I'm going to pull off the lid and I'm going to squash the tomatoes because I want to, like I said, make a chutney out of it. Now you can also put this in the mixer and or the blender and make a puree out of it. That also is absolutely fine. I want a slightly more rustic looking uh, chutney. So that's why I've stuck to this. After about five more minutes of cooking, the tomato chutney is ready. Now I'm just going to check in on my waffles and they look like they are ready. Take them out and yep. That's it, the waffles are done and they look good. Now time to get on with the other stuff. So we're just gonna chop up some fresh buffalo mozzarella and keep that aside. So now it's time to fry the pork hamburger patty and we're gonna get a pan on the gas. We're gonna put in some olive oil and once that olive oil is nice and hot, we're gonna lay down that pokey goodness or the burger patty as we call it in normal English. Anyway, once the patty is finished cooking on one side, flip it over and then smother it with your favorite cheddar cheese. And then just cover it and cook it till it's done. Oh yeah, that burger patty is ready. Now it's time to assemble the waffles. Alright, so we're going to assemble the first waffle sandwich. I'm going to lay down that tomato chutney. 
and then I'm gonna put down some of that fancy ham. Oh yeah, it looks expensive. Then I'm gonna layer it with the mozzarella cheese, that fresh good stuff. And then finally, some vegan basil pesto. Now, the only reason it's vegan is because I had it left over from last week. Don't shoot the messenger. Anyway, that sandwich is done and it looks delicious. Oh yeah. Now it's time to assemble the pork sandwich. So for that, we're going to put down some of that lovely dip that I made with bell peppers. I'll make a separate recipe video for this, I promise you. Some lettuce, the pork patty itself, and that pork hamburger made out of a waffle is done. I don't even know what to call it. Give me some ideas, guys. But these look delicious. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time to taste. Alright, folks, so it's time to taste these two delicious waffle sandwiches that I've made. And they look exquisite. I'm just, they look so good I don't want to eat them almost. But then again, I do. Alright, let me try the pork burger one. Oh man. Wow. Okay, guys. First things first. Unlike when I used to make almond bread hamburgers, and those were really heavy. This is not heavy. This is light. Like I don't mind having two waffles on a single burger patty. It is actually really good. It's absolutely fantastic. Now let me dig into the other one. Oh my god. I don't have words to describe how incredible these sandwiches are. I mean everything just works so well together I'm not even somebody called me so I had to take a abrupt cut but let me just say this the sandwiches are incredible I hope you guys are going to make these at home I hope you really enjoy these lovely almond flour waffles and, and the other things I made along with it and I promise I'll do a video with that uh, bell pepper dip that I've been talking about anyway enough jibber jabber I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen cheers and keep cooking Okay, so my dad has spotted these waffle sandwiches and he was actually quite excited to taste it. So dad, dig in if you want. Guys, I just walked into this place and I see these two wonders sitting on the plate. I just couldn't resist. I've eaten a full lunch. You can take the plate closer to you. It's going to obviously leak because it's juicy. Yes. God, there's so much taste in it. I don't know, is it the pork or the beef? There's no beef, it's both pork. One is, you're eating the ham one, the ham and the, uh, the mozzarella and the pesto. Mmm, I got a pine nut. This is the other one. Yeah, that's the pork burger with the uh, bell pepper dip in it. Mm. So the bell pepper dip will be sweet. Guys, living in this house is like living in paradise, food paradise. You walk in every day, there's some exotic thing sitting. And the best part is, it not just looks exotic, even tastes exotic. Outstanding stuff. Alright, thanks Dad. Bye guys. See hey guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. We've got these kick-ass Headbangers Kitchen t-shirts available on redwolf.in. If you like the show, click here to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can click here to support us on Patreon if you like what we do a little bit more than normal. You can check out my music on this link here. And you can watch another episode by clicking here.